Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to create a multiple page web application with WebAssembly in Rust. So this video is a beginner guide where we'll learn how to create multi-page web application with WebAssembly in Rust. We'll implement multiple pages, we'll learn routing and we'll also learn how to redirect from one page to another page. So this video will serve as a base for upcoming multi-page WebAssembly web app projects videos that I am planning on my YouTube channel. So make sure you stick till the end, watch and really understand the concept. So let's begin. First of all, move to the project explorer and make sure you are in a nice and clean Rust project. Then move to cargo terminal file where we'll add our dependencies. So the dependencies we need today is U with latest version and features as CSR client side rendering. And then we need U router with latest version and then we'll build our project. Once the dependencies are added, we'll move back to the project explorer and move to SRC. And here we'll add a pages directory, a router.rs. And then inside pages directory, we'll add a mod.rs, a contact us page, a login.rs and a profile.rs. So contact us, login and profile will be our pages. So first of all, we'll move to mod.rs and here make sure to make all the mods as public modules. And then we'll move to login RS to add our first page. We'll just add a very basic page and just to learn the concept. So fn login, this returns HTML and function component. We are not creating a separate component file because I'm not really implementing login here. It's just we'll learn the concept. So HTML active and right here we'll just add a h1 that says this is login page and h1 and then we'll add a button on click we'll navigate and to profile on login and closing tag that's all that we need today to, uh, here and we'll implement on click in a minute similarly we copy this component and go to profile paste and here we'll add profile this is profile page go to contact us Similarly, let's go to contact us and here we will just say this is contact us page, contact us, contact. So the, these are our three pages, very basic because we'll be just learning the concept of routes and redirects today. So let's go to our router.rs now here first of all we'll add enum route and profile contact and login so profile is 8 and we'll say slash profile and similarly this is it contact us and this will be it slash basically the index page and then we'll just say derive clone routable partial eq and then we'll add a switch pub fn switch routes On HTML match route so let's say the route is login then we say HTML and we just say login and this will be our crate that is from pages we have login similarly we will just 
copy this twice and this is profile so it will just add to profile similarly this is contact so this will just add to contact and there you can see all three pages the route enum basically all the pages that you have you have to add the routes here and this is to switch the route so whichever route is uh, basically triggered or called what should be rendered so this is our switch this is our route and once we have this let's move to project explorer again here we'll add app.rs where we'll add our app so we'll just do fn app html html and browser router similarly close browser router and we'll import it and then we'll say switch route render and call our switch function that we just added so this is import this is also import and this is also import which is this one so this is our app and we'll just add functional component as app so we have our app ready we have our route ready let's go to profile and login page to implement or provide definition to on click so here we'll add our navigator or router so navigator use navigator dot unwrap and let on click callback from uh, move and navigator dot push and router to profile page so when user clicks go to profile page we navigate to the profile page similarly we'll copy this to profile.rs where we'll navigate to contact us page so this will be picked up this is just a small id bug but yeah it works so we have our navigator placed for both now let's go to men.rs where we'll render our app so pretty basic stuff here we'll just do u render app new render and let's import the app so we have our uh, app ready and we have our router where we learn the concept of routing and we also have our pages now let's move to project explorer and do the last thing so here we'll add the index.html to serve the app so just do doc type as html html tag as length as en and then we'll do head and body both empty that's all that we need open your terminal and just to trunk serve so if you followed everything carefully it should be up and running now let's go to this url and test our application so go to your favorite browser and there you can see we are on the login page it says go to profile we click this we are on the profile page similarly we click go to contact us we are on the contact us page where we don't have any buttons so as you guys can see we have our pages so let's say go to the index page there you go similarly we say go to profile page it goes to the profile page so that's how we have multi-page web application using WebAssembly in Rust. Now in the future videos, we'll use this concept heavily in our projects. So make sure you grasp it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye -bye.